My name is James, a teacher of physics of uh, many years. Uh, in, in our topic today, we would like to see how we can get the density of a uh, liquid. In our last video, we looked at how to get the density of a uh, solid. And uh, we have uh, three objectives. The number one, we would like to see how we can convert density in a gram per cubic centimeter to, de to a kilogram per meter cubed. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to determine the density of a liquid. In other words, we are going to explain the steps that would be taken in uh, uh, determining the density of a liquid. Finally, we will work out a question on the density of a liquid. Now let's move to our first objective. We would like to convert the density of water, which is uh, pure water, which is one gram per cubic centimeter to kilogram per cubic meter, which is the standard unit for density. We know that uh, one gram is a thousand of a kilogram, or in other words, a thousand gram is equivalent to one kilogram. We also know that uh, one cubic meter is e equal to one million cubic centimeters. With that in mind, we can now convert one gram per cubic centimeter to one kilogram, uh, to kilogram per meter cubed. So you can see we have one gram per cubic centimeter equal to, so we convert the one gram to kilogram and that becomes one over a thousand kilogram. Then we divide by one cubic centimeter, which is equivalent to one over a million of a meter cube. And this becomes When we simplify this, we get therefore uh, one gram per cubic centimeter is equivalent to a thousand kilogram per meter cubed. In short, to convert gram per cubic centimeter to kilogram per meter cubed, all we need to do is multiply by 1,000. Uh, we want to move on now to our second objective, which was to explain how we can get the density of a given uh, amount of liquid. Step number one would be to weigh a container. Because a liquid does not have a particular shape, we would need to weigh an empty container then we weigh the same container containing a known volume of liquid, of the liquid that we would like to determine the density of. Uh, so we'll get the mass of empty container, then the mass of the container containing the known volume of liquid, and then 
we subtract those two values so that we can get the mass of the liquid. Now since we have said that the volume of liquid in the container is known, it means we'll be able to have the mass of the liquid and the density of the liquid. So we can use the formula for the calculation of density uh, to work out the density of that liquid as follows. This can be seen better in an example. So let us work out an example. And the example goes like this. can see that we have been given the mass of the empty beaker From the question, we have the mass of the empty beaker and we have the mass of the beaker when containing the seawater. From there then, by subtraction, we can get the mass of seawater as 24 gram. The volume is known and we can therefore apply the formula and then substitute accordingly so that we have after substitution we will get density equals mass over volume and that is going to give us 24 gram divided by 20 cubic centimeter which is equal to 1.2 gram per cubic centimeter we can now convert this by multiplying by 1000 so that we get the density equal to 1200 kilogram per ton. remember to hit the subscribe button so that you can receive more videos on this topic and many other topics I can also prepare a video on request for any topic in the high school uh, physics syllabus.